Hi doctors, how can I avoid salt burns after shaving down there? As soon as I hit the ocean, it burns. And don't get me started on the red bumps. It's just too much to upkeep. How can I avoid bikini burns and bumps this summer? There has got to be a better way. Well, there's a solution. So we have Jean backstage in our procedure room with dermatologist Dr. Ava Shambam. How's it going back there, ladies? Great. It's, it's great. So shaving and waxing is so 1994. What we do is laser and light-based hair removal, like this Palomar device, mm. to permanently reduce hair. Well, I think we should show everybody out there how, how the laser works. We have an animation to show that. What it is, the laser emits a specific wavelength of light. That light attracts to a certain chromophore, which is a pigment. The pigments in the hair shaft and the hair follicle. It actually disintegrates those part of the hair shaft. The hair therefore dies. You may have to repeat the treatment. But the big pluses here are that there's a, a built-in cooling to the laser system. Nowadays, as Dr. Shaman said, it's much better than the old days. A wider pattern, it can get done quicker, doesn't hurt, less likely to burn you. Dr. Shamban, any do's and don'ts? Who's the <laughs> ideal patient other than Jillian? First of all, you want to look for the ideal health care provider to do your laser hair removal. Someone who's aware of the skin type and the skin tone that you have so that they can choose the proper device for your hair color and your skin so that you don't get a burn. The other important thing is after you have the treatment, don't go out and lay in the sun because you risk getting pigmentation. And the swimming, of course, wait a couple days for that too. <laughs> Dr. Shaman Jean, thank you so very much. <laughs>